This video is covering how I paint a lens effect. So I use the lens effect all over my orc army. You can see a couple of example pieces that I've used recently. My big mech, the John Woo orc, uh, some of my commandos for the kill team. Let's talk quickly about the mechanics of actually painting a lens. So it's important to see that we have three transition areas. You get your shadow, your midtone, and your highlight. And then of course the glint. The glint is that bright little spot that we add at the end. How this works is that the light is passing into this glassy surface through that glint. And as the light passes through it, it's diffused and you get that glow at the bottom. This is why it simulates to our eye that this is some sort of glass or lens effect. Okay, so let's try this out on an actual miniature. You can see I base coated the lenses with just a white, it helps brighten up the colors. You can see the colors I'm gonna be using here in the background, but they'll be up on the screen as I'm working. So starting with a base coat of Warpstone Glow, everything is kept really thin from this process. And again, I'm laying down the mid-tone color. You can think of the Warpstone Glow as your mid-tone color. And so I just mixed up my shadow color, little black into the Warpstone Glow. And this is gonna go in that upper left-hand quadrant to create the, the shadow area. And as I create those regions of color, the shadow, mid-tone, and highlight, I'll usually come back to the mid-tone a real thin down mid-tone, you can see right there, and kind of glaze between the regions to kind of smooth out the transition between the colors. Okay, so I decided I had to get a little bit closer for you guys to really see what's going on. So I'm starting to lay in the highlight area. I come in with the moot green on that, that bottom quadrant. Again, with a little bit of that warpstone glow to kind of smooth out, blending into that mid-tone. But you can see, you can start to already see the transition, you know, from shadow, mid-tone to light. I use a little bit of the shadow color here to kind of reinforce. I, I come in with a stronger shadow up really towards the top, underneath the, the lip of that, uh, that goggle there. I'm also gonna reinforce the highlight with the Euro yellow. That's gonna kinda give it that, that warm glow down at the bottom. I did mix a little bit of the Ural yellow and moot green together, just to kind of, I thought the, the highlight needed to be kind of punched up a little bit. And then yet again with the Warpstone Glow, just a little bit at a time, nice and thin over those transition edges will help kind of smooth it out. That's pretty close to done there, right? You know, I, I came back with the Abaddon Black here and just sort of cleaned up some of the edges of inside the goggles. I think when you frame out either the, the jam or the lens, it really um, kind of makes it pop. And then we, for the last, or one of the last steps, come back with the, the glint. My big recommendation for this step is to make sure you breathe, take a couple of deep breaths before doing so, really kind of try to steady your hand, have thin, 
flowing paint, but relatively thick so that you can actually leave a mark when you get to tip your brush on there. And so I just cleaned up the rims of the goggles with some Iron Breaker Silver just to uh, kind of give it that finished look. But we're there. I mean, you can already see you've got that nice lens effect. If you really want to make it extra glassy, you could probably pop a gloss varnish on there too if you wanted. But I tend to like to create the gloss look with the paint itself. So there's your finished shot. Uh, I am going to include a couple other pictures of a couple other miniatures that I used on here. Storm Boy and Truck and one of my Kill Team members. I mean these lenses are all over the place. So it's a useful skill to have. Alright that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Again follow me over at Quarter Paint on Instagram. I should have a Patreon at some damn point. Thanks again.